Getting a boat from Sweden was already hard, but it was not even easy to get into the marina. But finally, the boat arrived. Initially, from the outside, it didn't look too bad, except the bilge kills were broken, but overall it was looking quite okay. First task was to remove the boat with, together with the trailer from the track. And yes, we didn't estimate the correct lifting point for the boat. We almost crashed the crane operator while trying to reverse the front wheels of the trailer. All controls are gone in the cabin, along with the furniture. Only steering wheel has survived, but even that is no longer attached to anything. Part of front cabin ceiling and side panels are gone.
The engine room looks like a place you really would not want to be in. Sure, there is the engine as well, but its overall looks in the middle of cut and broken wires, melted control cable insulations, melted styrofoam panels and lots of black soot covering it all. Looks like a scene from a horror movie. There is even a bilge pump melted to the bottom of the boat. And I'm only glad the plastic toilet storage container has not melted, as it was full when I inspected it. Yeah, the toilet actually looks quite decent compared to the other parts of the boat, probably because it's in a separate compartment, I suppose. Yeah, meanwhile, it's a view on the center of the boat. As you can see, I have already covered it with a blue cover in order to prevent rain from coming in, while the roof is not repaired and also have started to use vacuum cleaner to clean out some shavings and different things which are just scattered around here. I hired a welder to weld back the bilge keels, but he quickly discovered a serious structural issue on the port side of the boat, which needed to be addressed.
Armed with a lead acid battery, a booster, a 100 meter electrical cable, a fuel can and a mechanic, it was time to check if the engine is still good for anything. Principal gatos. Ну, медленно.
ok No Ya, yeah, ir Ok, ir As the good news, we bought an anchor presser. The bad news, we didn't get very far with it, but overall it's a reliable uh, 1000 liter output per uh, minute and you can basically run any tools with it. And so their compressor goes up. With help of my child. And a small winch. Otherwise it would be rather inconvenient to pull it up. Because I don't have any good, good stairs here. A sunny summer evening. Air compressor is on board and you can also see the mountings for the greenhouse as well. You might be asking, why do I need greenhouse on my boat? Let's leave this question unanswered until some next episode. And now it's time to proceed with all the questions I have received. Wait a moment. I don't have any questions received. But okay, let's assume I have received a lot of questions and here is the list. Let's start with the first question. Okay, let me first read it. Okay, so in two words, what's wrong with the boat? Let me think a bit. It exists? Okay, next one. Why did you pick up this boat? Well, you know, there is a Swedish site uh, for boats named Blocket, which is probably run by some evil overlord and it's very easily to get lured into its traps because there are a lot of different boats, uh, different project boats you can pick up for pretty cheap money, of course, at the beginning. I'm not talking about the funds you need afterwards you do it. And also another thing is uh, I already have a history of picking up strange boats, such as my previous boat Hakuna Matata, which you are seeing now on the screen. And that is a converted lifeboat, which has been in my possession for eight years. Actually, it has given me no troubles at all. Of course, it has some very, very quirky things, such as, for example, its turning radius is similar to the one you need, will need to turn a tanker. And also, uh, its uh, overall looks and design def definitely leave something to be desired. However, it has served me pretty well for eight years and it's serving well for its, uh, pre its current owner as well. So I'm not seeing any issues with that. Okay, so let's proceed with another question. So, how not to lose the money with a boat? And that is an important question and I can definitely say a very good advice here. Do not buy a boat. Because each boat you are buying will definitely make you lose money. And the more you try to keep it running, the more money it takes. And for whatever reason with this boat, I'm running into the issues that whatever I'm touching, it feels like it's the following way. The particular part has been waiting for me for these, I don't know, 30, 40 years. And then it's like, okay, you have arrived and now I can finally die. And that is happening with everything I am touching here. And sometimes, you know, it's kind of, you know, my hands are just, you know, going down and that's it. But uh, then again, uh, it's it because there is another day and I start keep working, things get resolved and I'm able to proceed with the different uh, things as I, uh, which I have planned. So that's uh, boat life and uh, repairing the boat. So basically it's inevitable. I would prefer to build a, a boat where you can just buy and do nothing, but such boats, as far as I know, do not exist. So even if you buy a new boat, you will still need to spend time maintaining, repairing it, and even in general, there are some factory flaws which needed to be corrected. So you will always have to repair your boat, no matter how old or young it is. But in current situation, what I prefer with this boat is that 
since I'm basically repairing everything here, I can build things the way I want, the way I prefer, and if some problems arise, I will always know where to look for. So that's definitely a benefit. Okay, so another question, maybe not related to the boats, but still, how to make Euro more valuable? Hmm. I would say add name Marine to it. And that is exactly the problem because everything which has name attached marine for whatever reason is, is costing like three times, five times or even ten times more. Even the same detail, uh, the same rubber seal, if it has Volvo paint label, it will definitely be way much more expensive than generic seal, which has exactly the same size, the same characteristics and basically the same quality as well. Okay, I think for now that's all for all the questions because I think my current list is already empty. But you can definitely prepare a new list for the next video and I will be glad to answer any questions which arise in the process. And yes, so thanks a lot for viewing. Please subscribe and uh, let's wait for the next video. Let's see what it brings. Bye for now.